Now we try so hard to feed our kids nutritional meals, but it is easy to get caught out with the hidden sugars on the coffee group. We are getting advice on avoiding those pitfalls. Maya Lee and Laura Tari, good morning to you both. Hi. Nice Hi. to have you back in the studio. Uh, Maya, let's start with you. You're a mum and you support other mums through your business. Uh, how much time do you spend reading and rereading food packaging? <laughs> Quite a lot. Um, running a baby food business, I'm, I've become a real kind of label geek, I guess. I'm constantly out in the supermarket, like checking out all the, uh, all the labels. Um, just really important for me to be aware of what's out there so that mm. I can provide uh, mums and dads with the right information and kind of let them know what to look out for. Yeah. So two of the key um, watch outs are sugar content uh, and what's in the ingredients list. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, you know, some commercial baby foods have high content of sugar mm. and, uh, you know, some as high as sort of 19 to 21 grams per 100, 120 grams served. OK, that's not flash. Mm. No, that's just a standard pouch and that's mm. around four to five teaspoons of sugar. OK, and would you sit there and feed your baby four to five teaspoons yeah. of sugar? No, you would not. No. Um, and then the ingredients list, um, it's just really important um, just to have a read because some meals are labelled as savoury, but actually when you read the ingredients list, you'll see that the fruit component is higher than the savoury or vegetable component. So then you sort of ask yourself, so is this a dessert or is yeah. this actually a savoury meal? So it's just really important to, to check out the ingredients list and actually see what is inside that meal. So Laura, where are the sugars most likely to be hidden? Yeah, I think it's really important to know the difference between natural sugars and added sugars. And you know, as mentioned, that the, you'll know it's an added sugar because it's found in the ingredient list. Um, but definitely, there, you definitely find hidden added sugars in more processed Food or some processed mm. foods. So, and, and, and as you said, you know, a savoury food is often foods you wouldn't expect it. You know, where you would expect to find um, added sugars. So, but looking at things like sauces, uh, snack bars, um, even those that are promoted as healthy and drinks are often common offenders. Um, but not all processed foods do have um, hidden added sugars, so it's, it is really important to be looking at the packaging and to be informed and make an informed decision. Yeah, and still having a look at what's actually in yeah, your food. Yeah, totally. Maya, what ingredients or additives do you avoid? Uh, try to um, avoid anything that's really unnatural. So um, things like artificial sweeteners, uh, artificial food colouring, caffeine. Uh, we love caffeine, not for babies, but we love caffeine. No, for well, exactly. But if I guess for, with if you're looking for for your children and, mm. and things mm. like that, um, caffeine can actually be found in quite a lot of mm. soft drinks. Mm. Um, so unless you've actually looked at the ingredients list, you won't you won't know. Uh, and salt, I think salt's really important mm. across the board. Um, just um, check that sodium um, content on the nutrition um, information panel, just to make sure that it doesn't have too much salt. Because mm, that's one that we do tend to so not look at quite so often. Sugars we do look at now, but the, yes. the sodium is still sometimes a bit hit and miss. Yeah. Now, Laura, can you give us some tips on how to read labels? Because it gets a little bit confusing. Mm. Yeah, I can totally understand because there is a lot of information on a package. Yeah. Some have more than others. But I think to keep it to the basics, the two things you want to look at are the ingredients list and the nutrition information panel. Okay. So the ingredients list will tell you everything that goes into that food product. And it will be in order from biggest to smallest. So if you see sugar or salt or food additives at the beginning of the list, that might be a food you to okay, try avoiding. So there's more yeah. of that in there than Exactly, right. yeah. Mm. And another really good tool is the nutrition information panel. It's a really good comparison tool. So you want to use the per 100 grams or the per 100 mil column as a fair comparison. And you want to look for um, higher levels of protein, of fibre, of vitamins and minerals, and then lower levels of the, the energy, mm. the sugar, and the fat, and then sodium. That's yeah. true, because if you're doing it on a serving basis, servings are all different sizes, aren't Absolutely. they? So Absolutely. And, and you need to look right. at serves because um, it can be a little misleading sometimes you might they vary from brand to brand yeah. and a serve size that they state might actually be a bit smaller than what you'd yeah. actually normally exactly. eat. Exactly so, like that yeah. whole bag of bliss balls isn't the uh, one thing you say? <laughs> Only one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Maya any final tips for mums trying to find out more about some healthy options for their kids? Um, yeah I just um, just leading on from what uh, following on from what um, Laura, uh, Laura was talking about I think just um, really checking out like food claims. So, for example, one of them is w when you see products that have um, real fr contains real fruit, but actually, when you look on the ingredients list, it's actually made up of fruit concentrate, right. which won't mm. have the same nutritional, um, I guess, density mm. that you know something made out of real fruit mm. would have. So, just really make sure you check out those claims. And mm. you know, there are a lot of claims out there at the moment with like high in protein and, mm. and things like that. So, just 
again, check the ingredients list to see how that protein and so forth mm. is made up. Mm. Awesome stuff, so read the labels. Yes. Thank you both so much. And thank you for joining us on The Coffee Group.